evening, um, <clears throat> or afternoon, or morning, whatever it is you're doing. Hopefully, if you're thinking about drinking beer this evening, um, if not, you've probably got a bit of a problem. Uh, or you might be a shift worker, but well, I don't know how that works, um, really. Um, <clears throat> right, well, I've got a beer uh, here. That's a glass, so not a beer. Um, from the Peerless Brewing Company. Uh, just to be up front about all of this, <coughs> um, I met the chaps from the Peerless Brewing Company at the Seaboo Festival in Ludlow when, when I was invited to be a judge. Uh, thank you, uh, Charlie, for that. Um, and I bumped into these guys and we got chatting and, and they turned up within an hour or so with, with some beer for me um, to stick on here for you for you to watch me drinking it. It would be nicer if they had given you all some to drink so that you could have then tell me about it, but it doesn't work that way, sadly. Now, this has been a Seba National Champion for 2012 in the Speciality Beers section. Got the gold. And it was also a bronze in the bottled beers section as well, so... Pretty good sound in. It's their Ginger Ninja. Um, so I should have some quite, kind of natural affinity with this beer. Um, not that I'm a ninja, just to be clear on that. Or very ginger at the moment. Uh, yeah, and um, I seem to be, as I'm getting older, I seem to be losing my gingerness. Um, but I am. And, and what which the bits that aren't graying are, are actually still ginger. Um, apart from the leg hair, which is strangely black. I don't know, it's weird. Um, I just put it down to getting old. So anyway, this is from the Peerless Brewery. Uh, they say they make unrivaled beers from the Wirral. Uh, um, right, so this is a strong ginger beer. A refreshed root ginger. Mm. Chili and lemons. Excited. So I've, I've seen the kind of mass-produced stuff that you can get in the supermarkets. Uh, I think it's called Krabby's. Um, and many, many years ago, in, in my younger days... Um, in, in the days of Hooch, so what, we're talking circa 1995, maybe? Um, there was a ginger beer-based drink then. This this is the first one that, just from the sound of it, gives me a bit of hope um, that it's not all nasty synthetic unpleasantness. So, let's crack it open. I haven't had it, uh, so... Well, I have had it, but not this. Not this beer. I let's not confuse issues. Um, okay, so Ginger Ninja, a fiery ginger beer. Let's see. I am a fan of normal ginger beer. This one that they do in Waitrose, which is, um, I think it's called a, it's some reference to Jamaica in it. But that's really, really burny. Um, it's great. And I do like ginger beer as a mixer with gin. Gin being one of my other favourite drinks. Um, I like to make ginger beer with gin, which I call a gin gin. Anyway. Enough about gin, let's pour this beer. Okay. One finger head. <coughs> One finger head. Um, looks. Looks like a beer to me. It's a uh, light orangey kind of. Yeah, very, very clear. Very clear indeed. Not, not, nothing at all, no haze whatsoever. I've popped it in the fridge. It does serve, serve, say, serve, <laughs> does say to serve cool. It's been in the fridge for about 10 minutes after spending time in my special beer cupboard. Um, <coughs> excuse me, which is the place that you keep beer if you want it to remain its ideal temperature. Um, so it is cool now. The head's dissipated very quickly, as you can see. The head's white. Um, and going away rapidly. So let's have a stick my schnoz in there. Let's see what it's like. Ooh. Ooh. Suddenly, I'm really quite looking forward to this. Um, hmm. So the, in the nose, it's all ginger. I've smelt more fiery ginger stuff. Um, but only, and that's the only really, really extreme stuff that kind of burns as it goes down. It smells, it smells of ginger. I'm not getting... I'm not getting the lemon. 
Well, maybe I am. Maybe, yeah, maybe, yes. Yeah, maybe the, the, the lemon comes in. I'm sort of starting to dissect my sniffs now, but the lemon kind of comes in at the end, and it. I don't want to say this, but I'm going to say it anyway. You, know, uh, you all know my opinions on, on free beer. Um, the lemon comes across a little bit very liquidy. Um, not that they make a lemon one, but you know what I mean. You know what I mean. There's, there's, there's that kind of slightly synthetic lemonness to it. Um, and chilli, no, nothing in there. Chilli. Anyway, let's get my mouth in there. See what happens. Oh. Oh. Well, bang on with the ginger. That's still burning its way down now. Um, one of the good things about ginger is it, is it one of its natural properties is to eliminate heartburn. Um, I've, I've eaten quite a lot today, and I rather, rather think that this might just sort out any lingering heartburn problems I might have had. Mm. Mouthfeel, it's it's a very kind of soft, not so not in the soft in the kind of uh, vice beer kind of soft. It's just it's not overly foamy. It just sinks in. It just kind of it's very easy to swallow. This. It's not a thick mouth feel. This is very much. I think I probably could have done with chilling it a little bit more, to be honest. Um, mm -hmm. It's working ginger all over my mouth, but predominantly it's got that lovely ginger burn working this way down now. Um, that's going to be warming in my belly, I can tell. I'm not getting the chilli. If I'm honest, no, I am getting the lemon. The lemon, sadly, for me, is is possibly a little bit synthetic. Might not be, um, but that's how it tastes. It doesn't ta it doesn't have that kind of fresh citrus lemon peel taste that you might get with some beers. It's got it's got a slightly kind of pre-made taste to it, almost like Jif lemon, um, not the cleaner, you know, the, the good stuff you have in your pancakes. So it's, n it's not a bad thing necessarily because for most of us, squirting a Jif lemon on our pancakes is something we do not at least at least every pancake day. Um, but it uh, d nothing quite beats that fresh zing of, of somehow working lemon in there. And, and very often that comes from hops and stuff anyway. So, mm. Does it say on the ingredients? No, it doesn't. It doesn't say what kind of thing it was. At four percent, this would be quite a nice beer to sit in the garden with. Actually. Um, We've had quite a hot weekend just now. I could see myself supping away on this. What I could probably see myself doing is having a bit of a half of this, um, a half of it, sharing this with somebody and just sitting, you know, sitting down. Because I think if you had a whole pint of it in a lovely warm day, it would go warm too quickly and you, those flavours aren't working quite as nice as they would do um, when they were cooler. You can tell that. Um, <clears throat> okay. Well, in its class, I can see why it won, won a gold medal for a speciality bit. It's a really tricky category to get your head around the speciality stuff because you don't know what's going to land on the table and it could be only one of ten different specialities. Um, so it's done well there. As an overall national champion, the bronze for CB2012, bottled beer. <sighs> yeah, probably. It's so unusual, and 
I've had beers certainly that, that have kind of promised that lemony flavour and that have just ended up almost tasting a burnt rubber, which is unpleasant. This isn't go, going anywhere near that territory. This is just giving you that lemon flavour, like, like I said, with the Jif lemon. Um, but worth, worth a punt. Um, if you're near the well, I don't know how far away they distribute, um, but uh, go, go and find it. If you, can, if you can find it in the shop, give it a go. Um, particularly try it on a hot day, that's my recommendation. Um, for a rating, ooh, I'll go with an 8. Pretty nice. Um, and I'll go on that high because it's the first one of these kind of novelty gingery beer type things that I've actually got any enjoyment out of. So I'm off to enjoy the rest of this now. Um, take care. And cheers.